It's a constant debate we have whether or not we want to know the whole truths that can cut and sting. Like, what happened last night? Did I do something stupid? And who the fuck threw up in my purse? Do you know who threw up in my purse? No. But, Care Bear, I wanted to talk to you about last night. Are you okay with what you said to me? Well, if you're okay with it, then I'm okay with it. Those things I said. Good. You know, because I, I don't want things to get weird between us. No, <laughs> of course not. But tell me, uh, what was the highlight of our conversation for you? What do you mean? Anything just stick out? No, it was all very much what it was. Very ambiguous wording. What? Nothing. Gotta go. Tell me what happened last night. Karen? For once, I am glad you don't drink. You have to remember. Ross and I left early? I, I don't know what happened. Then you are gonna help me find out what did happen. You are also gonna help me find out who threw up in my purse. You're the only one I can trust because I know that you didn't drink too much and barf in my bag. Unless... Are you feeling okay? Nauseous? Mm, no. Why? What is this? I had to make sure you don't have a fever. What was in your purse with vomit? Shh. I'm not the one we're questioning. You and I are about to question all of our friends. OMG, are we gonna be like cops? No. Yes. Oh my gosh, I've always wanted to be a cop. I said no. Do we get uniforms? Well, 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 look who it is. My love. Or should I say, the guilty? Tell us what happened last night. Tell us the whole truth and nothing but the truth. Well, I was with you all last night. Or so you say. I believe something else happened last night. Something a little more despicable. Tell us, Ross, tell us what happened. Well, uh, we all decided to go out for drinks. We all decided to dress up for fun. Mostly it was Francesca who made us, so she had an excuse to wear her new dress. We were sitting at the bar by 9.30. We spent a few minutes lamenting about past loves. So, she said she wanted to sleep with me, but she just wanted my prescription painkillers. <laughs> by 10, you and I had had a lot to drink, and well, you know me, I'm a blackout, so... Um, uh, you were throwing up everywhere and Brooke and I took you outside. In my purse? No, all over some random girl's leg. Oh, man. Come on, Joanna. We're not gonna get the story here. We need to talk to someone who can hold their liquor better than an eight-year-old girl with liver failure. We're watching you. I really am watching you. You and your cute little booty. Oh, bitches be crazy. So if you, Brooke, and Ross were outside, that leaves me, Vaughn, Francesca, and Clarissa on the inside. Not exactly. Shortly after we went outside, Brooke went back in. Sounds like he was up to something bad. Or something no good. What's Brooke's locale? 7th and Main, 5th floor, corner office. He has to empty his bladder pretty frequently. He's a small boy. Perfect way to get him alone without making a scene. Hey, that's a big tool. Thanks. I meant you, not your cock. 
That kind of makes me uncomfortable saying cock. <laughs> Tell us what happened last night after Ross and Joanna left. Um, do you guys want to talk about this somewhere else? Like, over tea? Oh my gosh, that new tea place that we were talking about just opened. <laughs> no more bullshit! Hey, we're just role-playing. Shut up. I went back into the bar, I grabbed a drink, and you were really wasty-faced. The girls went to the restroom, leaving Vaughn, you, and I behind. You're handsome. Thank you. I miss you. I miss you too. I miss the age when I thought I was gonna have everything together by the age I am now. Like, I thought I was gonna be married, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? But instead, I would settle for an ambiguous hangout that I could kind of construe for a date with a guy who's only like, kind of mean. Wait, that's all I said to Vaughn? Thank God. And then he actually had to leave us because he had to get something from the back. Uh, then what did we do? Oh, I wanna play. No. Oh. Ow, 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 I ow, win, ow, I win, ow. I win, I win. <sighs> what do I do? Uh, I don't know. Uh, put cold water on it. I don't know. I didn't do it. Um. <sighs> splint it, splint it, splint it. Oh. I don't know. Go, go. And then we didn't have any tape, so you went to go find some, and I didn't see you after that. Hey sis, what's the haps? Have fun last night? Yeah, I had fun. Tell me all about it. What happened after Dr. Gail Vale showed up? Uh, well, Francesca, Gail, and I all went to the bathroom, and it was really busy, so, um, Gail and I chatted outside, and we sent Fran in. She said some really sweet things. Are you writing this down? No, I'm making my grocery list. So, then Gail had the idea that we should all go out to the alley to pee. <laughs> wait, wait. Yeah. Oh, oh, I have to pee. I have to pee. Wait, are we doing this? <laughs> no, I can't believe we're making you do this. I am not making you okay. do anything. <laughs> anything. Wait, oh, oh shit. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, I hear something. No! No! It's just the kitty! It's the kitty! It's the kitty! Okay. That feels better though, huh? I'm good. Get it all out. <laughs> okay. Mmm. I'm so glad you came out with me, my friends. Oh, honey, it's so much better than that damn high-pressure date. Oh, uh, <laughs> I liked a high-pressure date. Even though it ended up with you crying. Crying, <laughs> crying is underrated. You're a good girl. You're a great girl. Thanks. <laughs> I hope you feel the same way. Yeah. I think you are true. No, I mean, that you think that about you. Mm. Just shut up and kiss me. Hmm. hmm. That's so cute. Yeah, and then we ditched you guys, sorry, and went to get gourmet sausages. Hmm. It's less ironic. Then I guess I have no further questions. <laughs> I'm sorry? Except where? Exactly in the alley did you pee? So Ross, Brooke, Clarissa, Gail, and I are out of the picture, which leaves you and Francesca and Vaughn. What is it? Nothing. Joanna, I'm not going to need your help anymore. Hey. 
the rain, huh? It's like Seattle all over again. You want to talk about last night? Yeah, actually, how do you know? Um, tell me, what is it that you think that I want to talk about? I'm sorry, I am so sorry. I never really meant to hurt you. Well, actually, Francesca, I blacked out last night. I don't remember anything that happened. Oh, your thumb. That was me. I was running out of the bathroom. You were coming in, and I shut the door behind me really fast. That—that That is what I'm really sorry about. Is there anything I can do for you? Tell me the truth. OK. Um, I know that you and I don't really talk about this kind of stuff, but our, our friendship is really special to me. Hey, have you seen Clarissa? Dale? Uh, but how you doing? Honestly, I, I miss drinking. Oh, it's, um, it's for a good cause. And I miss us just being friends. I don't. You don't? Friends don't have what we have. Whatever is going on with Vaughn and me, it's more complicated than you can know. And it came out of nowhere. I, I didn't mean to blindside you. Francesca, Vaughn and I fucked a few times. We were never dating. He never had feelings for me. He didn't do anything wrong. I mean, no joke, this really hurts. Like, Part of my brain wants to rip your fingernails off and shave your eyebrows in the middle of the night, but I value our friendship too. Yeah. Yeah. Excuse me, miss. Bar's not open yet. You here to talk about last night? I give you my blessing with Francesca. And don't get all cocky and think that I'm in love with you just because I flirted with you at the bar. I mean, you are handsome, and I do miss you, or Dick, but I miss us being normal friends. I meant what I said. Yeah, but that's not all you said. Karen, your thumb. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I just don't know. I don't know what happened. I just liked sleeping with you and and then I got feelings for you and I thought maybe you wanted to try dating me. But I pushed you away because I was scared and I was gonna try and get you back, but then you and Francesca and I've known you for four years and I don't know why, but I fell in love with you. I love you. I'm in love with you. You're the first man I've ever slept with who told me I was beautiful and I didn't even, I just didn't even think you were talking about the way I look. I care, I... I don't have feelings for you like that anymore. I know, I know. You don't have to say it out. Thanks for the tape. <laughs> oh. Do you know who threw up in my purse? No. Sorry. Oh, wait. I remember.
Sometimes I wish I didn't have to know the whole truth. Seriously? Anything but the truth. <laughs>